Next up, I'll be taking a direct line from my guitar and running it into an LR Bags Paraacoustic DI. Now I've dialed in just a slight bit of EQ, just to taste. So overall for this session, I'm gonna be recording three tracks. I've got my vocal mic, I've got my R10, which is capturing the natural sound of the guitar, but also a bit of the room as well. And then I've also got a direct line out of my guitar. Now here's another really cool trick that I've picked up along the way. You can take that direct line and you can pass it through a plugin such as Stereo Maker by Plugin Alliance. So essentially what this plugin will do is take that mono signal and it will split it into a stereo signal, but it will do it in a really natural and a really musical way. So the bulk of your acoustic sound is gonna be captured from the R10, but by blending in that now stereo direct line underneath, it'll help to add a bit of width. So the focus will still be from the R10, but you're just getting a bit more spread um, from the direct line. So when I'm miking with a single R10, like I am today, I usually aim the center of the, the ribbon somewhere near the 12th fret, and I like to keep the mic somewhere between a foot to a foot and a half away from the instrument. Now that's usually my starting point where everything roughly sounds usually pretty good. 